It's a bull. Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Kind of rainy out and a little bit overcast for my local peeps here. I uh, hope wherever you are, it's a lovely, beautiful day. And it uh, looks like uh, the uh, fish are enjoying themselves out there. Water clarity is absolutely beautiful. Tons of look downs the last couple months here, I've noticed. Lots of those guys floating around. And what be that? going right by us right there. Is that a, a mackerel or a zero? Kind of look like it a little bit. Well, <clears throat> let's move along to precious metals prices. Things look a little bit up from yesterday from where they were. Uh, let me do a quick refresh on this real quick and uh, just see. Well, yeah, yeah, quite a bit actually. Uh, overnight markets 1809 to 1828 currently sitting at the higher end of that level at 1827 and uh, silver is uh, 2588. Wow, that's quite a bit of an update today. Uh, 2553 and a high of 2593. It looks like she wants to crack that 26 again. It's August. I mean, July was kind of a dead quiet month. And uh, as uh, one of the commenters pointed out, uh, I think it was uh, last week, uh, August typically has been a pretty good month for precious metals off and on for the last few years. I think that's one trend that we've kind of seen. I don't know exactly why, but it has been. Uh, so no less. Uh, platinum kind of sideways, 1049, not doing much, uh, sitting in that same range as it was yesterday. Uh, but both metals, gold and silver, look like they're up a little bit today. So again, if you planned on buying today, uh, yeah, will it dip back further? Yeah, most likely. Will we see a giant monkey hammer and dip? Uh, most likely. Uh, but no less, you know, if you're trying to time buying these things, uh, actually, it might not be too hard because, again, we've seen a lot of dips here. Uh, but no less, you know, anything that you're buying under $2,000 gold and anything that you're buying under under $30 silver and platinum under $1,200, it's cheap, man. It's just cheap. So, you know, don't don't uh, get hung up on uh, trying to time these lows or trying to time these monkey hammer uh, hammering events. However, if you're going to time the monkey hammer, and remember, it typically happens on Fridays and Mondays and usually during holiday periods. Uh, so if you're looking for monkey hammer days, those are usually your best bets if you're looking to hit the lows and you got some extra money. Uh, if not, just buy in. Don't worry about it. Nice thing is right now, the premiums make that so much easier. I was just looking at the uh, new premium sheet and wow, <coughs> silver uh, more available and the premiums are uh, much more palatable right now. Uh, let's take a look at ZH here real quick and see what's going on in the news. Um, lots of political stuff, not too much in gold and silver. I was trying to actually figure out why today's day is, and you know, why we're having an up day today, but you know, I guess we have to have some updates. We're in a bull market after all, right? So, uh, but it was up quite a bit actually, gold and silver. And again, I didn't see any news that uh, um, told me why or that I felt would tell me why. Uh, just some big buyers out there putting some metals away. That's what it seems like. Uh, China's social credit system, I don't want to read that, that's too depressing. Uh, this is ZH, by the way. nice thing about ZH is they give you uh, uh, different viewpoints, unlike uh, corporate news, which gives you that single viewpoint. I hate that. I like to be able to look at different viewpoints, opinions, and make my own decisions. <clears throat> you know, And uh, that's why I like ZH. Uh, and you know, some of this nonsense out here, and uh, some of it's uh, really good stuff. And most of it is stuff you will not read in uh, corporate news. Uh, editor in chief uh, apologizes. Well, they should. They all should apologize for that. Stocks and bonds and yields tumbles after dismal jobs. Hmm. Uh, was the jobs data? When did the jobs data come in? Was that this morning or yesterday? Uh, that could be the result of uh, uh, stock and bonds tumble, dismal jobs data. Would that cause gold and silver prices to kind of fly up there? Yeah, I would think that it could have scared a few buyers, uh, you know, bond buyers, I guess and uh, stock buyers and, and get them to think that maybe now is the time to preserve their wealth. Uh, that's what the big guys do at least. So probably a couple big whales went into precious metals yesterday and that's or this morning and this is why we're seeing up, up markets this morning. And it has something to do with this dismal job data. Uh, let's take a look here and just see when was this? Dropped a massive miss in the ADP employment report, uh, small caps. Uh, again, I'm not sure if this was this morning or uh, yesterday. Uh, no less, uh, that being the case, uh, this is probably the result of uh, uh, why uh, prices are up this morning in gold and silver. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, ADP employment report shows jobs gains stalled in June, weakest since February. All right, there you go, folks. Um, that kind of weakened stock and bond prices a little bit. And again, as a risk, you know, uh, 
to offset the risk a little bit, and actually gold and silver do very well in bad times, uh, this is probably what we're seeing here. We're starting to see some bigger whales move into the metals market. I think we're going to see more and more of that coming up as well. <clears throat> and I believe more and more of the savvy big companies are going to be wanting physical and allocated accounts. Uh, they don't want that third-party risk either unless they're that stupid. Uh, let's move along down here. Not a lot, again, in gold and silver, specifically mentioned gold and silver markets, but let me see what I can make of these articles. Uh, what's behind the Inflation Hall of Mirrors? Uh, as I said, lots of cool articles to read on ZH, that's for sure, uh, whether you agree with them or not. I like the idea of expanding my brain with different viewpoints and different opinions, not a single viewpoint and a single opinion. That's not expanding your brain. That's putting it down a narrow rabbit hole, uh, again, my opinion. Uh, Robin Hood share screamer, uh, scream higher in pre-market as WSB warriors take charge. Um, you know, I got to start wondering, did WSB warriors take charge? It, it, they almost make it sound like it's a, uh, a, a group of small investors. I mean, I know it's a large group, but I, for some reason, I think there's some big whales that are taking charge of the WSB warriors. That's what I really think. I think, they're, I think that they're being led by some large whales in that group. Um, maybe unbeknownst to them. Uh, however, they're trading in big, large chunks as, as a group. Uh, however, I don't think this is uh, some guy in his garage that uh, doesn't know much about stocks or bonds and is dealing with uh, $3,000 or 3300 in savings that he has. I think that, that uh, 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 there are big whales driving the WSB warriors out there. Uh, all those smaller guys. And be careful, guys. Don't let these guys drive you off a cliff. That's my opinion. Uh, no less, it looks like Robin Hood shares went from 33. They started out in IPO at 38, went to 33. And it uh, looks like it's taken off a little bit from there. But, you know, I don't like these kind of markets. I like markets that have real fundamentals. This is more like, uh, 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 well, that's most of Wall Street has become nothing more than uh, a casino, you know, like Las Vegas. <clears throat> Or, 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 you know, a big fancy version of Las Vegas. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm not a gambler per se. I, I don't like to lose. <laughs> That's my biggest problem. I'll go into that later. Southeast Europe devastated by wildfires. Uh, again, I'm just kind of looking for uh, three new polls show they're going to need to pump out a much bigger dose of hopium. Uh, some interesting numbers here. It appears that in a dramatic shift from last month, more Americans now say uh, that the uh, this right here situation in the U.S. is getting worse rather than better. Uh, I don't necessarily believe that's true. Actually, I think it's getting better. I think that that uh, 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 we're starting to see it around us, and uh, uh, we're we're pretty much. What's getting worse is the reaction to this right here. I'm going to circle that. What's worse? Worse is the reaction to this, not this itself. Uh, the reaction of our politicians, the reactions of officials, the reactions of corporations who have profited greatly from this. Uh, so, um, and that includes the media, um, a corporate media who has frightened the living hell out of most people across the globe. I mean, it's a shame. It really is. But we have to remember, folks, most people get their news night. They go to work. They got, you know, you work hard all day long. Uh, you put your eight hours in or whatever it may be, 12 or 14. So, you know, some people work really hard, double shifts, whatever. You come home, you don't feel like learning an economic lesson or a lesson in politics, and most people don't. They turn on, they flip on that switch on the TV uh, or the computer or whatever it may be, and they turn on their favorite flavor of corporate news, whether it's a CN or whether it's a MS or whether it's a, uh, a FOX. Uh, they turn on their favorite flavor of, uh, of news, and then they get their sound bites there. You know, from the corporation who hires the people to say the sound bites that they prefer to be said. And they're usually single narrative uh, sound bites. And this is where most people get their news. And, and you can only imagine, uh, if, for what it's worth, I don't know if <laughs> I've told this before, but I turned off uh, corporate news in 2008, absolutely shut it off. Um, I saw them cheat Ron Paul out of the uh, uh, primary election in 2008. The media did it. Uh, they called the election results earlier uh, in 2008. And uh, uh, not only did the uh, CN, MS, but FOX did as well. Uh, so I started to realize, you know, uh, the, the media is run by corporations who have an agenda. And that agenda doesn't necessarily uh, mean what's best for us as a whole. And you can pretty much know that's for true because what they did with this and how they frightened your grandmother, how they frightened your sister, how they frightened everybody around, uh, frightened them to death. 
uh, over something that has, uh, oh, anyway, I'm not going to say it, a 99% good chance population-wise that you'd be fine. But uh, let's move along to a different uh, uh, poll here. And uh, uh, where is it? There's another poll that just came out. President Biden and Congress job approvals are taking a hit amid a resurgence of this. I don't think it's a re because of a resurgence of that either. Uh, I disagree with this article on a few points here. I think it's uh, uh, only because of the decisions that these people make right here. Uh, because of that, they made really stupid decisions. And uh, his job approval is taking a hit amid a resurgence. Uh, uh, Harvard Caps Harris poll release found that his approval rating dropped to 52%. He may still be above water. Only 43% of respondents disapprove of the job he's doing. Uh, but it's getting worse there, and I suspect that it'll get worse and worse uh, in the more boneheaded decisions they make. Uh, let me jump out of this because, again, too political. Uh, I'm not going to go there. Uh, what I was trying to point out is that, uh, where is it? What was I trying to point out? Um, uh, polls uh, uh, saying that uh, uh, people are losing kind of faith in the government and they're losing faith in uh, 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 a lot of things in the markets and the economy. And uh, well, what that article did point out down below is that what this really means is people are going to spend less money out there and people are going to uh, uh, start saving money and draw themselves in. And this will not be good for the economy and this will not be good for the government who makes money. Uh, by taxing a good economy, that's where they get most of their money from, income taxes. Uh, so, you know, if you're not working and you're not spending in sales tax, income tax, all these taxes, if we're not doing that stuff, they're going broke and they have to keep uh, 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 pushing that uh, money printing button over and over and over. Uh, so it, it behooves government to get people out there working and spending, not the opposite. So I'm completely confounded with their reactions to this whole thing. Uh, let's move along here. Uh, Goldman finally gives in a bump first year analyst to 110. Who cares? Um, <laughs> uh, Clarkson, uh, boy, he's pretty outspoken, isn't he? Uh, and I can't disagree with that man. Uh, um, yeah, that true. And again, nothing too much to talk about in uh, precious metals here. Uh, let's see where else are we going. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to make you dizzy by going so fast, but I just didn't go down this far in the page. Let's move over to GATA.org and uh, see what's going on here. GATA.org, these are the guys, if you're new to my uh, videos, uh, you got to have this bookmarked on your bar because these are the guys that know it all. And they're, they're and know it all in a good way. They know the manipulation, how it's done, who plays the game, how they play the game, who the players are, all that good stuff. And if you're reading GATA.org once a week, this will make you a much smarter stacker than the average bear out there. Um, uh, Ronan Manley did a little article here. I kind of clicked it a little bit and looked at it a little while ago. Brazil Central Bank imposes secrecy on gold purchases um, and on swaps. And Manley basically asked, you know, why are they, uh, you know, why would they impose secrecy on their gold, you know, their gold holdings of the Brazilian government? Why would they do that? Well, the reason they did it is because they probably leased it out. What he's kind of discovered here, and it's a good article, take a read if you get a chance. But what he's kind of discovered here is that uh, uh, it's highly likely that they don't even have the gold. In the, they don't have the gold in the country. He's kind of shown that it's outside the country, and in more likelihood, they have leased it out uh, to BIS or somebody. <clears throat> Uh, all not good stuff. Uh, this kind of just goes to show you that uh, there's a lot of uh, chicanery going on out there as far as uh, uh, what these countries own in gold and where that gold actually is. And Do they own it or do they own just a piece of paper that says they own it anymore? Uh, ha has Brazilians uh, people gotten ripped off? Uh, you know, is is there gold in Fort Knox? <laughs> These are all questions we all want to know. Uh, let's move along over to here. Former Northwest Territorial Mint executives guilty in 25 million. This warms my heart, folks. Not that uh, uh, there was a 25 million dollar Ponzi scheme, but that uh, scumbags like this, my opinion, scumbags like this go to prison. Uh, the former president CEO of Prestige Metals Firm in Federal Way in Auburn was convicted Friday of mail and wire fraud. And again, folks, one of the reasons that I am so big on shopping local and dealing local is so that you don't become one of these $25 million Ponzi scheme victims here. And uh, when you're not dealing with, listen, even when you're dealing with some face-to-face, -face, you can still get burned. Uh, don't get me wrong. You know, just because someone has a brick and mortar store is no guarantee that they're going to be there. However, most brick and mortar stores have been around for a little while. If they got a good record, 10 years, and they have a good uh, reputation, uh, chances are your money's still going to be there. The deal 
the gold's going to be there when you go to pick it up. Uh, however, when you don't know who you're dealing with and you're dealing through the mail and on the phone and, and on your computer, you just don't know. You just you can't look into that person's eye. You can't get a gut feeling from a computer. That's for sure. This is why I like buying local, uh, so you don't get burned from pe scumbags like this. Uh, and you know what? I actually knew uh, Hans Tolving uh, somewhat. Talked to the man before. Hans Tolving went went belly up for twenty five thirty million dollars. I don't think his situation was exactly the same. I think it just got away from him and he wasn't placing the orders. Uh, but however, he went to prison and he took people for a lot of money and he seemed like a well-intentioned guy. Um, you know, but if you went into the store when he was having issues, you could probably looked and saw the stress in his face and got that gut feeling, I'm not dealing with this guy. So you can't do that online. You just can't do it. Hard to do on the phone, impossible to do online. Uh, no less, deal locally, folks. That's my uh, big thing that I like to talk about all the time. Um, let's see here. Uh, Justice Department calling a Ponzi-type scheme. You know, it's funny, though. These precious metal guys get busted for $25 million uh, in Ponzi schemes, yet yet uh, the Justice Department and uh, uh, regulators uh, continue to allow uh, huge corporations, uh, uh, entities to monkey hammer and manipulate the gold price. Nobody goes to jail. These guys will probably go to jail, uh, but nobody at J.P. Morgan went to jail. They just paid a $987 million fine. Yeah, you know what that tells you as regulators and governments when they have to do their job uh, against the people they work for. Uh, they prefer to get themselves a nice little chunk of change. It looks better on their resume, I guess, uh, when they leave to go work for the company they just find. <laughs> so I can't stand these. I can't stand these companies, and I can't stand these people that take advantage of people, and I can't stand these so-called regulators that are supposed to be watching out for this stuff. Uh, sorry, little rant on my part. Uh, looks like uh, Bernard Ross Hansen, 60, was convicted of multiple counts of wire fraud. 2,500 customers of $2,500 $2, million, and it uh, uh, looks like Diane got that too. So, well, good on them. If they did indeed do that, in my opinion, they are scumbags, and they deserve to be where they're at. Uh, sending, sending a schedule, all right, we don't need to know that much. Uh, no less, nice to see that somebody gets caught. Sure, it'd be nice to see if it was uh, actually a real mega corporation or entity instead of one of these little small companies like here. Uh, well, anyways, we'll see what happens. That's really about it for uh, uh, here. There's not too much to talk about. We've read most of this stuff. Quiet news out there for the last couple of weeks. Sorry, folks, if I've been a bit boring uh, here uh, on my videos, but uh, not a lot to talk about. I've had, I've had a hard time kind of uh, getting into it a little bit. Just not, not a lot of news. Well, let's take a look at yesterday's video. Uh, I tell you what the news is. I have looked, and views are way down. My views suck. I notice a lot of views on people that do gold and silver suck. You know, my first thought was maybe it's a conspiracy, but then I was thinking, I typed in the word gold and silver up here on YouTube, and I expected, uh, I said, yo, you know, I know what's going to come up is uh, uh, videos about the Olympics, you know, gold and silver medals. Um, but no, it's mostly gold and silver <laughs> precious metal dealers. Maybe YouTube just said, hey, listen, let's like kind of like, pull those down a little bit so we'll get more people when they do a search for gold and silver to come up with medals for the Olympics, not precious metals. Uh, I don't know, I'm stretching, I'm stretching. Could be just the dog days of summer that cause these low views, but no less. Um, I appreciate every single view I get, and we're just a little channel. So let's take a look here, so it's easier for me to notice. <laughs> Uh, Silver says that uh, uh, my LCS when I bought my first gold coin, welcome to 3%. 3% of people hold gold. That's kind of interesting information. I never knew that. Haven't seen the statistics that say that. But it wouldn't surprise me that only 3% of the population uh, has physical gold. You know, as far as if you were to go through your neighborhood, 1,000 people in your neighborhood, uh, maybe uh, uh, 30 of them have gold, right? Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Joey says GATA just had an order about CEO of North. Yeah, we just talked about that. Uh, oh, sorry, I should have read this first. <laughs> uh, but yeah, exactly. Those guys, uh, what scumbags, really. Thanks for watching, Joey. Appreciate it. Uh, have you noticed that Kitco gold prices and the price online dealers when you buy gold is six to eight dollars off from Kitco? Uh, you know, I don't know if Kitco does it in Canadian. I know they're a Canadian firm. You know, and I don't really look at Kitco too much. Um, not one of the companies I, you know, I care about. Uh, nothing bad, nothing good. I just don't care about them. Uh, so uh, I don't use their spot prices either because I found they're off. But uh, they, I don't know. If they, maybe it's Canadian dollars they're using, the Canadian dollar instead of the U.S. dollar. That would explain the difference. But sorry, uh, Silver, I can't tell you why that would be. 
Uh, Jim sees, uh, says, I know precious metals will go up, but I worry. I will be so old when it happens. I do not have it 20 years. Uh, Jim, you saw silver go up last year, 2020, from that $12 to $15 range to the $25 range where it sits. That's a double up. How the hell can you complain about that? Um, that's a that's a good deal, in my opinion. And uh, let's see what some replies were, to what, what else? Uh, I hear that. Leave it for your children. Uh, come on, guys. You're forgetting that silver doubled up last year. So if you're sitting on silver, who the hell... If, if you want to get rich, you got to go to casinos. You got to go play those uh, casino type markets, like, uh, you know, or Bitcoin or something like that. The metal that you're in, Jim uh, and Chris, the metal that you're in is all about wealth preservation. And even on a wealth preservation level, you did really well with silver last year. Think about gold as well. Gold's done extremely well in the last few years. You know, it, this is not. Uh, Wall Street bets, uh, 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 GameStop. This is not uh, Bitcoin. This is wealth preservation. This is what gold and silver does. You, sh you need to know this as you go on. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed that it's not a casino because it's not. Uh, again, wealth preservation. You want to you want to take big risk. Go, you know, and big risks sometimes make big returns. You go, you play the casinos, you play the bitcoins, you play the markets, you play, you know, those type of markets that that uh, again usually big risk entail or big gains entail big risk. Uh, so when you make that big gain, take some of that money and you stick it where you wouldn't stick it back in a big risk, or you know, you would stick it back somewhere where there's wealth preservation. And what is that? It's not a dollar. It's gold and silver. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, but don't get disappointed. Uh, Greg says, did you try and succeed ordering DNS Morgans from the government? I didn't. I ordered the O's and the CC's just because a friend of mine told me to do it. I, I normally avoid that, even though I know I can double up my money uh, just by selling before I get them. Uh, and usually that's the best thing to do is sell them immediately. Don't hang, hang on to one for yourself and sell the extras because uh, typically these things always come down in price once all the hype is done. Uh, thanks for watching, Greg. Appreciate it. Hope you got a few yourself. And uh, Chris says, do you feel there's any truth to these paper, people saying silver 300 and gold 10 grand in the near future? No. Uh, in the near future, I mean, define near future. Uh, near future's uh, kind of vague as well, Chris. Mm. My coffee there. Sorry about that. I, I didn't fall over. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, uh, 300 and up. Yeah, I mean, I could see it in a, I wouldn't want to see it overnight or that quickly. That would indicate that the world's gone to shit overnight. Uh, however, we will see that at some time. We'll see $300 silver and we'll see 10 grand. Um, in the near future, that I'm just not able to tell you. I can tell you with certainty we will see those prices. So uh, when is when I cannot, what I cannot tell you. Uh, no less, uh, they'll go there and uh, gold is a great way to do what? Preserve your wealth, sir. So keep putting your money there. Uh, look at the price of silver and gold in Venezuela and Bolivar. Yep, that's true. Uh, looks pretty high. Uh, well, Heart of Texas, thanks for watching, Chris. The Heart of Texas says the golden rule. He who owns the gold makes the rules. And that's absolutely true. Still to today. Why do you think central banks, what do all the big central banks and the Federal, the Federal Reserve, what do they have in their vaults? They don't have $1,000 bills. They have gold in their vaults. And why do they have gold? Yeah, you can answer that question yourself. Oh, nothing to be happy, he says, why do Mexican Libertad coins always rise in price here in Europe? You know, I heard that. I can't tell you why. Did any good replies tell you why? Uh, limited production, uh, highest, it's why, hmm. No, I, you know, I don't know, uh, oh, nothing to be happy. I know they're probably popular over there. Maybe it has something to do with the design. I'm not quite sure. Uh, Maria Teresa's uh, silver coins, uh, they were very, you know, they're the restruck 1780s, a big silver coin with Maria Teresa on the front of it. Uh, they were popular in Africa for many years just because of the design, nothing to do with the location of it. So uh, maybe Mexican Libertad, maybe Libertads are just a popular design in Europe. Not quite sure why to tell you uh, they've gone up. I do know that we sold uh, like a thousand of them for a spot plus six dollar premium about three weeks ago. Uh, I didn't want to put my customers into them. I thought the premium was too high, so I sold them wholesale. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, Jeff Keller says uh, I should flip the coin instead of spinning it. You know, uh, I'm trying, I, I don't know, I tried the flippy thing, man, and it just sounds like crap. I mean, here, ready? Ready? I'll flip one right here for you. I don't know, that's kind of boring, but it, maybe that ringing noise is a little bit annoying for some people. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Thanks thanks for the comment, Jeff. I appreciate it. I'll figure something out. Battleborn says the uh, uh, sign in the background confuses the heck out of me. I'm going to drive home anyway. Thanks for the video. 
Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I don't even notice it. We live not too far from the, uh, uh, the my store right here is uh, not too far from the uh, uh, fire department. So whirr, the fire alarm goes off. I, I kind of don't even hear it. Uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, Brand says spot and premiums are useless numbers. What is the end cost us retail physical customers? It's all that matters. It should be the real talk. Uh, you bought a 10-ounce bar yesterday at 306.39. Uh, free shipping and handling using a credit card. Using a credit card, man. It just scares me, anybody that would take a credit card for boy. And you know, Brandon, I'm not encouraging you to do this, but you can return that bar. Price of silver went down. All you'd have to do is call a credit card company and say that uh, uh, the product was defective and you weren't happy with it. This is why I don't take credit cards on bullion, and I don't think it's safe. Uh, not to mention fraud. It encourages fraud. Um, so, but no less, I digress. Uh, my, what, what was uh, what were we selling? I'm going to tell you real quick what I was selling silver bars for yesterday. I think we were around. Let me use 1850 because that was about what it was late in the afternoon. And let's take a look here, 1850, and we were selling them. Not 1850. I'm sorry. Um, 2550, 1850. So <laughs> you wish some of you. Uh, 2550 plus uh, 270, 375, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we were selling them for uh, 29, it looks like. Uh, maybe a little bit less. 29, no, 29.75. We were selling them for 29.75 on uh, yesterday. Uh, with the silver price at uh, 25.50, so that's basically spot plus 3.25 we were getting for them. Let me do that one real quick. 25, 26, 27, 28, um, 28, 75. Uh, no, actually a little bit less. I think 29 and a quarter. Sorry, my math skills aren't too good when I'm trying to do this show. Uh, at the same time, uh, so we were, we were a little bit over 29 bucks yesterday, and you were paying or 290 dollars, and you paid 306. Uh, and again. Uh, 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 we don't take credit cards. That's the only thing. Well, good for you. That's a good deal, uh, Brand, and uh, I hope you keep getting good deals like that. And thanks for watching. Michael, I will indeed take another sip from the coffee here because I'm going to skip over to the next screen. Hey, for you new folks here, too, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hmm. Uh, and I promise uh, I'll try to do my best on doing more shows for you. I'm going to do a couple different things in the future too. I think I'm going to do some interviews. I can probably do an interview on my iPhone, on the speakerphone, uh, with uh, Dealer X, uh, the big uh, wholesaler, uh, one of the big wholesalers that I deal with. Uh, and maybe I can kind of do that with some other things too, do some interviews um, while I'm doing my uh, uh, video here. Uh, but I got some ideas. I want to switch it up a little bit rather than doing the same thing all the time. Uh, but I do appreciate you all watching. Well, best deals out there. Uh, silver, I'm going to say that the best deal, even though 90 is still a little bit cheaper, best deals are 1 ounce and 10 ounce bars. Actually, the best deals are 100 ounce bars. We got them for spot plus 325 in small quantities uh, for good uh, for good bars. And uh, actually, Valcombi bars, which have been really nice. That's a premium bar. And uh, 1 ounce and 10 ounce bars are spot plus 375. That's not a bad price at all, considering they were as high as 5, 6, 7 bucks. At, at the height at one time for some premium, which was ridiculous, uh, but it is what it is, and it was what it was. Uh, so uh, those are the best deals in silver. You know, there's some other best good deals out there, you know, commems and other things, and some esoteric stuff that I can advise you to buy if you come in, and we'll take good care of you. As far as gold goes, uh, best deals out there, still gold bars are in that $80 plus range on small quantities. Uh, after that, I'd have to say uh, Krugerrands are the best deal, and what a KR is going to run you. They're going to run you uh, 90, uh, they're going to run you about spot plus uh, 90 bucks right now. Uh, again, small quantities for KRs. Maples are going to be a little bit more than that, I believe. And what are maples going to be? About three bucks higher, five bucks higher, right in that range. Um, so those would be the next best deal. Um, Silver eagles, I mean, gold eagles are still expensive, folks. They're like a buck 25 over um, from us. I don't know what other dealers are selling them for. And so that's the best deals out there. There are some other little small esoteric deals. If you come in my store, I'll hook you up with them. And uh, that's really about it. Hey, listen. Uh, I advertise to beat uh, Atmex, JM, SD Bullion. They're great companies, online companies, as far as I know. Uh, however, if, uh, if uh, your local coin dealer, including myself, uh, any local dealers that are listening to this uh, video as well, you got to compete with these guys online. Uh, if you want to stay in business, you got to compete with the times. You know, when the young guy comes in your store and you quote him uh, spot plus four bucks or 450 on a 10 ounce silver bar, and he goes to his telephone and he pulls up 
JM at Max or SD and says, I get them from them, shipped to my door for this. You need to be beating that price or at least matching it and giving the guy good advice, folks. And this is my advice to other dealers that may be listening. Um, maybe they're not. Uh, and if you're a, a retailer out there and you got a small dealer, uh, mention that to him. Say, hey, listen, I'd rather buy from you than send my money out of, the, out of town. Uh, and see if he'll match or beat the uh, uh, prices of the three big guys. Now, can you ask your local dealer to beat everybody online? No, you can't. And what, I, what have I done? I've basically taken the three companies that I believe are fairly safe to buy from. I don't believe they're going to go belly up overnight, which can happen. Look what happened in Northwest Territories. Uh, again, this is the reason that I always like to buy local as well. Uh, besides the fact that you can look the person right in the eye, get a gut feeling who you're dealing with and if there's any issues. And um, they also spend the money local. Once you spend that money, it's spent locally. All kinds of great reasons to buy local. And that's not just for coins and silver. That's for uh, uh, jewelry and tires as well. Well, that's really about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Um, oh, you want to hear something funny? I just looked at the cord from my mic, and I said I didn't plug it in. <laughs> I thought I just did a show for uh, however many minutes with no mic. Oh, gosh, and I've done that before. It's frustrating. Uh, so this is Brian with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. Uh, and uh, the beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811 between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you are a local and you live in South Florida, if you don't, unfortunately, I can't help you folks. Uh, I don't ship out of state. And again, my best advice is find a local person. Well, thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow, and I hope you have yourself a great day. Bye now.